Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I am bringing you guys the single greatest game I have ever played in this game period. And this time I got it on video for you guys. So I promise you guys you want to stick around for this entire video. It is insane from start to finish. Everything that could go wrong or right does. I promise you, you want to watch this. This is crazy. This will be the craziest game I probably ever get to post. So, I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. Don't forget, we're on the path to 50,000 subscribers. So, make sure you guys punch that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys. You guys know that. But, uh, we're on northern waters. And I, or north, sorry, not northern waters. We're on north. And there is something about this game or this map, that just makes me end up having ridiculous games. I have had some of my best games in multiple different ships, and holy mother of God, we've got a Grossa Kerfers going full broadside right at the beginning. We go ahead, we trigger the Arthas. We want as much damage as possible. Come on, it looks good, but it isn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, RNG is not on my side in this particular match, especially right now like immediately returned hit for like 15,000 damage that's insane while I'm bow in too like you can't ask for like a worse set of circumstances right like full broadside gross occur first fire the guns Arthas is up nothing fire or take a shot in return immediately like 20k damage it's like really game that's how we gonna play really now, it only gets worse from here, guys. Like, for real. Like, we are going to post up. I'm like, okay, well, Yama's maybe shooting HE here. We got to try to angle. We're doing okay at uh, mitigating the amount of damage possible. But we're still spotted. Which means there's a destroyer here. Right? What happens next can only be described as uh, very, very unfortunate. So, while we go ahead and we sit bow in here, we get a shot. We do 10k to the enemy Yama. Again, not very good. Are you kidding me? Look at these torpedoes. And then we get slapped right through the bow for 16k and take a 16k torpedo. Really? Really? Okay. Now, I'll be real honest with you guys. Up at this point, I'm about ready to throw my controller. <laughs> I have not had a very good night of turn in terms of ships. Um, I am feeling a lot better, so thank you guys for that. I will try to stream today. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when. I'm going to try to do it after the gym, but I may end up trying to do it this afternoon. Who knows? I'm going to try. Uh, but we're, we're going to get out here. We're going we're gonna to try to make something happen. Look at the map. The enemy has cap control, right? They've got Alpha. Our team's retreating from Alpha. They've got Bravo. Nobody's challenging Bravo. They've got guys over here that are rushing away from this spawn to go towards Char or go towards the middle. And that's when our Shima gets spotted by the enemy Giri. Um, I just fired my gun, so I have no guns ready to help him with the Shima, or help him with the gearing. But uh, we get a couple of shots out at that enemy Grosa, and just nothing, right? Just nothing. Uh, the Yama is backing up, but the good news is the gearing and the Shima are both smoking up here. Why is this good news? Well, it allows me to finally disengage, right? My goal here is officially to disengage and counter-rotate. This is something I, I try to do occasionally. Like, if I see that this side is just stale, like, there's nothing I can do here. We got plenty of firepower here. You got multiple battleships pushing into this flank. There's not a whole lot more I can do over here. So I would be better served trying to counter-rotate. Rotate against the direction that my team is going. Because you can usually catch a lot of people off guard. Now here, I wanted to shoot the Awami, but I also am very aware of the fact that I'm broadside to the enemy Yama. So the last thing I want to do is fire my guns because my smoke firing penalty, I guarantee you that destroyer is within that. So I don't want to get myself spotted. But as Iwami turns away, I'm like, okay, we're just going to let that happen. Maybe uh, we'll take a shot here, but we get spotted. So now it's, it's on. Their destroyer is not in a smoke screen. So we go ahead, we take the shot at the Awami, we immediately start turning away. We're expecting to get shot at, right? The shot at the Awami is horrific, but we do manage to get five pins somehow. I don't know. It looked horrible, but we did manage to get five penetrations, so it wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. But we're only up to 43,000. We are almost five minutes into this game. The more impressive thing to me is the fact that we're almost five minutes into the game, and we've only had one ship get sunk on either team, which is crazy. 
But uh, Conqueror comes out, he's full broadside, he has no idea that this is coming. We go ahead, we have Arthas already going, but unfortunately Arthas runs out right before we slap this guy. Uh, and then the Yama all the way back there shoots over the top of all these guys just to shoot me. What are the odds, right? Now, look at the team. We're down two ships. We're down two caps. Well, down one cap. Uh, but the enemy has two caps, so they're going to be gaining points faster than us. I take a shot here at the Conqueror. Conqueror's actually going to slow down, angle in. He's going to avoid those. Uh, Kaba spots the Shima initially, but unfortunately Kaba's in a position where he's going to get shot by uh, both the Colbert and the Conqueror, and uh, he goes down. So down goes the one guy that we have that potentially could remove this guy. Um, now, Conqueror versus Yama. It could go either way, but generally speaking, it's going to favor the Yama. Just due to the fact that the Yama just, it pins everywhere on that ship. So there's nothing he can really do to avoid getting just blasted every time I shoot at him, as long as I get decent RNG. Now, he can absolutely blast me back with HG, but for the most part, he's going to be on the, the um, receiving end of just a bad time versus a Yama when I'm focusing it. Now he opens up, our other teammate shoots him, doesn't do a whole lot of damage, I believe it's a Mino, but uh, we go ahead, shoot over the top of the island, this is a guaranteed kill, uh, it looked good the entire way. Now keep in mind, we are running the epic um, main battery reload mod. Uh, so here we have a Colbert spotted, Colbert is just begging at this point, I'm like okay, let's go ahead and line him up take the shot we aim a little bit high because we are expecting him to turn out here but uh, that thing is too fast too agile and he gets turned away just enough to uh, avoid most of that damage we did it uh, one overpin and like that we're up to 106,000 damage um, but I want you guys to keep an eye on my reload uh, when we get this maxed out in a moment but uh, you can see I don't want to I, I want to wait for this Colbert to make the mistake right now you can see he's coming out of a corner and I did not lead him enough um, he's probably running his engine boost but he's definitely definitely way faster than what I could hit him with coming out of that turn so he's probably he's got all the things right so he's just not easy to take out but he's also going to struggle to hit me at that kind of range so it's time for us to start pushing in the uh, friendly Mino is going to do something incredibly useful. There's only one destroyer left in this lobby. He's close by. The Mino goes directly towards the direction of the torpedoes. And the Shima does something incredibly stupid, which is get himself spotted when there's a Mino nearby. And so we take a shot at him. The Mino is going to rip him apart. You know it's going to happen. We get two overpins on him, and Mino just absolutely death strikes him. There's no way that you, at that range, while you're broadside to a Mino, that you get away with it. Unfortunately, Mino then gets caught broadside in front of the GK, but GK overleads him and overpins his bow. Now we're at 110,000 damage. This game is far from over, but our team is going to need one hellacious comeback in order to pull this one off, if we even have a chance. And at this point, it's looking grim, right? Now Colbert, he makes a huge misplay. He gets closer. Why is that a bad thing? Well, it's bad because it means that it's a lot easier for me to potentially hit him. And we're about to get Arthas back. So we aim out ahead of him. He's turning. He's uh, being a little indecisive. We have Arthas triggered. And when we get that Citadel, all his health disappears. The Mino unfortunately gets the kill, but it, it, it doesn't matter. He's dead. And now suddenly it is a 3v3. This game could go either way. Um, now the enemy still has the points lead. They have the caps lead, but... We have potential uh, bad guys sitting broadside to us, and I'm going to head in that direction. Look at the map, and look at where the GK was last spotted. So I'm trying to get out of the cap now, or get out of the smoke here so that I can potentially spot the GK. The Mino then does the unthinkable, and he leaves his smoke, presumably to spot, but he doesn't use his incredible concealment to his advantage. I'm trying to dodge him. Like, I really am. I don't want to hit him. I don't want to get in his way. I want him to be able to maneuver his ship. So we are slowing down. We're turning to the left, trying to avoid him. Uh, but all he has to do is try not to get spotted here. The GK will shoot me if I am spotted. So we're going to go ahead and shoot high up. We don't want to... Uh, we want to hit as many shells as possible and look at that dispersion. And then I see the rail guns come out of the GK and I'm like, that's a dead Mino. I don't even have to look. I just knew he was dead. Those were rail guns coming out of that GK. And I was like, there's no way at this range that our Mino gets away with that. There's none. You're just done. 
which is why I just could not believe that he put himself in the position to get dev struck there. But uh, don't worry, this game's still not over. It's still a 2v3, all, all our battleships. This game could go either way. We're going to keep fighting. GK is beached completely broadside, which is just devastating for his team, right? That is a lot of hit points, a lot of armor. Like, if this guy manages to stay alive, he could be the key to his team's success, right? So we are going to chew him up as much as we can. We aim high, trying to avoid the belt as he rotates his ship a little bit, and we do manage to slap the ever-living crap out of him. Um, and at this point, we're at 187,000 damage. Everything is, is looking bad, but... We can take care of this curve first, get into the cap, start moving through. Capping the base at this point is not going to help us win this fight. We're down too much. This will be a 100-point swing if we can get rid of them, and look at that accuracy out of those guns. Holy mother of God. And of course, we just railed him. All six shells landing perfectly, doing all of the maximum damage we could possibly do without citadels. We aim high here, hoping for a shot to hit a superstructure, and the shells go exactly where they have to do to do nothing. They went straight to the belt. I didn't aim high enough. I ended up hitting his belt, but we got the front guns back thanks to that fast reload, and we managed to finish off the Yama, giving us our second kill, and that takes us, oh my god, somebody just lobbed me over the island. I have 8,000 hit points left. I don't have any heals. I do not run will to rebuild. We are at 219,000 damage. The game is all but over, folks. It just is. Like, there is no chance. I look back to see how much health my friend, uh, my friendly battleship has. It is a Temeraire, I believe it was. Um, it's a British battleship. I think it was a Temeraire. And he, do he has a decent chunk of health, but he still doesn't have a lot of health. So, at this point, I know that the two ships that are left are a Musashi and a Izumo. Or, Iwami. Sorry, not Izumo. Iwami. Iwami has a Yamaha. And the Musashi has a Yamaha. Yam uh, Musashi also has Yama guns. Now this Iwami, I can only I can only describe what this guy does as just it's not good. All he has to do is 7,300 damage to me, right? He, he needed to do 8,700 to start with. If he just shoots a superstructure a couple times, heck, load HE, and he kills me. But unfortunately for him, he does not. And Yama does what Yama does, and with the fact that I am fully maxed out on my reload, like, my reload is decent. It's what, like, 22, 23 seconds now, which is insane for a Yamato, all right? Maybe that's not a crazy, like, think about that. It's like Jean Bart, Richelieu, like, Jean Bart can get a lot faster, but that's like Richelieu reload with 15-inch guns. These are 18-inch guns that overmatch everything, and we're just slamming them home every time. The Iwami clearly unsure where he should be aiming tries to go through the cheek with his 410 millimeter guns does not manage to do so his secondaries are being very unreliable at this point i'm thinking okay torpedoes could be in the water he starts rotating his bow towards me i know that i can go through his bow so we're just aiming slightly above the water line to get as many shells on target as possible we actually get a citadel not that it, i don't think it really would have mattered i think we'd have killed him either way but now we're at 276,000 damage the enemy just captured the Charlie cap. We do not have time to capture this cap and win. So it is all speed, full speed ahead. We have no choice but to try to catch the enemy Musashi. Now remember, at any point, Musashi shoots me, I die. There's not much surviving that, right? He overmatches me, I overmatch him. Either of us fully capable of removing the other depending on where we're, we're spotted, right? So, I am, the only hope that we have of winning this game is killing the Musashi. Keep that in mind. That is our only hope of winning this game. So, we've got 1 minute 30 seconds, and it's actually not even that long, because we're at 900 points, and the enemy has all three caps. So, I have sold out. The only hope that I could possibly do is to hope to God that this Musashi is in a stupid position, and that he is waiting for me and this other guy and is potentially spottable and just when i think that there's no hope left this musashi does the unthinkable he puts up a plane why is that unthinkable well it allows him to spot me which is good for him but the bad news is he also is able to shoot me which means he's in a terrible position and a potential throw is about to happen he takes a shot and leaves me with just enough to get away and wait for it hello musashi 
You ever heard about the rear cheek? It's just as vulnerable as the front cheek, and POW! Down he goes, and that ends the most ridiculous game that I have ever played in my life. Total damage? 337,000 damage the first time I have ever broken 300,000 damage in a game. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we were also right on the border of losing the match due to points when that shot landed and killed him for the full dev strike. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This was a crazy match, the likes of which I will probably never ever get again. It's a once probably every, I mean, I've got 12,000 games played. I've never had a match like this. So let me know what you guys think. I really do hope that you guys help me out. Share this video. This was incredible. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave the comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.